So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is going to be the first video in my Valentine's Day series. Um, I had a lot of requests for something dark and smoky and so I think I accomplished it pretty well. It looks dark but please don't be scared. It's very easy. You just have to be patient and blend, blend, blend. The key to any dark look is blending. All the shadows I used are from this BH120 color palette and this is the 5th edition. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So first I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Then I'm going to go in with this light brown shade using it as my transition shade. You want to make sure you use a transition shade when working with such dark colors. And make sure you just blend that into your crease and blend it onto your lid. Then we're going to go in with this red color and put that right on top of that brown color. You want to make sure you go in with a light hand and build up the color because it's easier to build it up than to take it away. And this color you just want to blend, blend, blend. Next we're going to go in with this dark brown shade. Any dark brown will work. Guys, did I forget to mention that this palette costs like $15? I'll make sure I listed it below. But with that brown shade, we're going to pack that all over our lid. And this is just going to help us blend everything easier. in that brown color we're gonna put this right into our crease and this is just gonna blend those two colors together so there are no harsh lines now we're gonna take this black any black will work and I know this looks scary but we are just gonna pack this all over where we put that brown you don't want to go into your crease because we are going to blend this black shadow up. back in with that same crease brush and use that brown color. You don't want to use black because black's not going to help it blend. Using that brown color though, we're going to blend to make sure there are no harsh lines. Just blend back and forth and the key to this look is blending. Blend, blend, blend. I can't stress to you enough how important it is to blend. This look will look so harsh without blending. Now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up anything that may have fallen out underneath my eye and just sharpening up that line. I won't be using eyeliner today just because I think this look is already so dramatic but feel free to add eyeliner. Now I'm just going back in and blending everything out just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm using the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. And this thing only costs like $4.99 I think and there's three shades in it so I'll link that down below if you're interested. It's what I've been using for a while. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and coat my lashes to get ready for falsies. Now I'll be using the Ardell 116 Black Lashes. And when you're applying false lashes make sure you wait 30 seconds before you put them on so you can let the glue get tacky. Now I'm going in with black eyeliner and lining my waterline, top and bottom. Then I'm going to take that blending brush, blending brush, sorry guys, and blend out my bottom lash line. This is just going to make everything more smoky and put together. And I seriously lost the clip of my foundation and concealer, so now I'm just going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match powder and using it as my bronzer. And I would just be putting this on my cheekbones, the tops of my forehead, and blending it down my neck.
for blush, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade 40 Pink Plum. Just applying this to my, the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. I know I usually say work from your hairline forward, but since this is a cream product, I have more control over it. And if you want, you can add highlighter. I just didn't feel the need to since I did use a cream blush and I'm not setting it with powder. Now I'm just taking a matte highlighter and highlighting my brow bone. I wanted to go with a matte highlighter because everything else on our eyes is matte. Lip option number one is going to be a nude lip. I'm just taking a nude lip liner in Wet n Wild's Fergie Daily Nude Lipstick and applying that to my lips. And this is lip number one. Lip number two is going to be a pink lip and I'm just taking Rimmel's East End Snob Lip Liner and Revlon's Pink Pout Matte Lipstick and this is going to be lip option number two. Number three is a red lip. I'm just going to be taking a red lip liner and Milani's red label lipstick and applying this to my lips. And this is lip number three. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed to my channel.